case. I, uh, I didn't call before I come over. I, I wonder if you could see me. Ah, uh, is there really any point? Well, I guess I think there is, or I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Well, look, if, if I start to upset you, then you can just tell me to leave. But at least let me try to explain what happened. Well, what did he say when he saw it? Oh, he was very impressed. I don't think he realizes what an honor it is to wear that uniform, but uh, a few days at Clinton Prep and that'll show him. Oh, it's such a prestigious school. How did you get in there on such short notice? Oh, my name took care of that. And don't forget, Mrs. Lucas, moving in those circles is Eric's birthright. Oh, of course it is. And I'm sure he'll be very happy there. <laughs> uh, hurry up, Eric. I haven't got much time. His mother must be very proud. Well, as a matter of fact, Miriam doesn't know, and I'd prefer that she didn't, at least for a while. I want to pick uh, just the right moment, uh, surprise her. <laughs> I understand. But you're right. She will be proud. I'll see to that. Ah, Eric! Oh, you look perfect. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a more handsome young man. You know, Eric, the boys at Clinton Prep have been wearing that same basic outfit for almost 100 years. That's what they said when I had to wear the stuff in England. Oh, well, then you'll fit right in with the rest of them in no time at all. <laughs> I have got to take a picture of you for my album. Hello? Hi, Mom. Look. Grandpa says I'm going to Clinton Prep. Clinton Prep? Daddy, I don't understand. Could we sit down? Yes. I'm sorry. Please. I don't suppose I could apologize enough for what has happened, but even so, once again, I am sorry. I just, I just wish I could get you to believe that I'm sincere about that. The thief is always terribly sorry he's going to jail. Oh, hey, oh come, come on. on. This doesn't make sense. We've been through this. I suppose it's all so pointless for me to tell you once again that I didn't know Sebastian had planted that story about our engagement in the newspaper. Whether you were aware of his actions or not, what he does is your responsibility. And I accept that responsibility. I hope so. Because if you're going to be elected to Congress, you're going to have to deal with this on a much broader scale, not to mention a more important one. Do you honestly believe that anything I'd be involved in professionally is more important to me than you? <laughs> It's quite a line. Did you rehearse it? No, I didn't rehearse it. Is our relationship so lacking that... We don't have a relationship anymore. Not like we used to. And I want you to know that I am pursuing a reconciliation with Dave. Oh, Kate, no. What's that? Well, I mean, I... You mean I'm not even allowed to have a reaction about that? A reaction, yes. A say in it, no. Wait a minute. Wait, Kate. I've asked you to marry me. Are you going to completely ignore that? I didn't ignore it. I gave you my answer then. And the following day, I elaborated on it. When I found out what was really behind the proposal. What you claim was behind it. Oh, look, if this is the way this conversation is going, you might as well leave because we have covered all this before, Lee. Yes, to your satisfaction only. Well... My satisfaction is the only one that I'm concerned with. You're here on my terms. Remember? All right. <laughs> okay. Well, just where do we stand? I mean, if we're to have a relationship, 
What's it going to involve? Daddy, why is Eric wearing that blazer from Clinton Prep? Because Grandpa says that's where I'm going to school. Uh, Daddy! Eric, I think it would be a good idea if you went upstairs and changed. But I thought Mrs. Lucas was going to take my picture. Well, that'll be later. You, uh, you run along now. <clears throat> oh, is that true? Did you tell him that's where he's going to school? Well, in a manner of speaking. That'll be all, Mrs. Lucas. Oh, yes, but we have to I finished. said that will be on it here. If you would just take these things, hang them up in my closet, please. Yes, Mrs. Mason. I must say, I'm looking forward to this one. This what? This explanation. Well, I certainly hope you'll keep an open mind as you listen. Always. And are you willing to hear me with that kind of a response? See, you're expecting the worst already. Uh, Daddy, I come home and I find my son probably enrolled in some prep school when he's supposed to be leaving the country in two weeks. Now, did you really expect me to have a, a positive reaction to that? No, ma'am, I did not expect you. But this isn't any ordinary prep school we're talking about. It's Clinton. Well, I don't care if it's Yale. Daddy, Paul is coming back here to take him to England, right? Now, doesn't that mean anything to you? Yes. It means that uh, he doesn't want what's best for his son. Mim, if Eric starts on Monday, He'll be caught up for the fall term. He is already caught up for the fall term for his own school in London. What if we can prove to Paul that Eric can get a better education in this country? What about that? What well, would you he... say? He is already enrolled in one of the best schools in England. Now, could Clinton Prep really be that much better? Mim, Eric is an American citizen. Not even Paul can overlook that. And that's an even better reason for Eric to be here and attend Clinton. Well, I guess it would be better for us if he were here in Kingsley with us. Yes, of course. Wait a minute. And now, Daddy, uh, this is nearby, isn't it? Well, of course it is. Where is it, Daddy? Well, it's a lot closer than England. Daddy! Leesboro. Now, he can come home on the weekends. I'll see to it myself. Leesboro is two hours away. An hour and 45 minutes. And would you prefer a six-hour plane ride across the ocean? Well, yes. At least we would be keeping our word with Paul. Yours, not ours. And you could give him all the mothering you wanted on the weekends. That isn't enough. Quality, Mim, not quantity. That's what counts. No, no, Daddy. That's what they say. But that isn't true. Because a child needs to be constantly surrounded with love. Not to have it given to him in little administered doses. No, I say that if I can't be the one to give it to him, he should go back and stay with Paul, rather than have some headmaster giving him love. Do you have any idea, Mim, of the size of the donation I had to give that school in order to get Eric in? Daddy, I don't care if you had to give him every last penny. In fact, I wish you had, because oh. it would have put an end to all these struggles of ours. Really? Do you realize how much your lifestyle would change? Are you telling me that the clothes that Mrs. Lucas is putting in the closet upstairs are $5 items out of the bargain basement? You always bring that hook up with me. Yes, and I always manage to do it. No, no, not this time. Perhaps then you'd like to turn over your checkbook and credit cards. If you do, I'll take them. Don't think I can't do it. I don't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting to go to. Daddy, Eric is not going to the school. Yes, he is. Now, even if you're not willing to fight for your son, I am. He's going, Mim. What you're really asking is whether or not I'll be involved in your campaign. No. But since you brought it up, are you? How you stand for... for a lot of things that are very important to me. Yours is a voice that I believe could make itself heard on, on behalf of people who need it most. I'm thinking it would be very selfish of me to deny you the, the right to help others. So yes, yes, I am going to be involved in your campaign. But that's all I'm going to be involved in. You're to treat me no differently than anyone else who's volunteered to help you. Thank you for your support, Kate. But quite honestly, do you think that's realistic? The way I'm feeling now, I think it's very realistic. Well, I appreciate it, Kate. But actually, I think it would be better if you stayed away from the campaign. I mean, uh, it would hurt me too much. Whether you choose to believe it or not, Kate, having a congressional seat is not the most important thing to me. Certainly not more important than you. 
I'm not going to let go, Kate. Your accusations to the contrary, my feelings for you are genuine. And even though I'm hurt by the way you feel about me now, I would be much more hurt if I lost you. You know, perhaps you should look into the possibilities between you and Dave. I don't think there are any. I think I know you both well enough to be able to say that, but you're not going to be able to say it until you see for yourself. And when you do, Kate, I still want to marry you. Well, I suppose I should acknowledge this in some way. No, 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 no. I've said it. You've heard it. That's enough. I think you're wrong in not allowing me to help you with the campaign. If you'll uh, permit me a little immodesty, I, I don't know if you can do it without me. Please reconsider. Well, uh, I'll sleep on it. I uh, said what I came to say. I'll let myself out. Um, Kate, I love you. All right, all right. Now look, the point of this whole thing is to be as honest with one another as much as possible. Now, I don't think either one of you will deny that we've had some kind of problem here, huh? Not me. Yeah, some bigger than others. So who wants to go first? I will. Why don't you stop playing Mr. Self-Righteous and admit you're a part of this too? Of course I'm a part of it, Carla. Then start acting like it. I mean, there wouldn't be a problem here if you didn't insist he stay with us. I did not insist on anything. Now you agreed to an arrangement. Agreed? You did. How? And after what kind of pressure? Now, wait a minute. We are not here to discuss that. Oh, no, no, no. Of course now, not. We're not going to discuss that. Now, if you want to talk about that, we'll talk no, about that later, but not now. It. Go ahead and do it now. Just call me when you're through. Of course, you'd like that. Give you a chance to slip away. Hey, look, if I say I'm going to be around, I'll be around. That'd be a first. I'm always where I say I am. Oh, you are, when you choose to let us know. Wait a minute, Carla. Now, that's not constructive at all. Monk, would you please sit down? It's as constructive as I'm capable of being. Well, why don't you trust me? Why should I? You know, from the moment I first met you, I busted my guts to make you happy. I done everything you asked me to. That ought to be worth a little trust. You know what that's worth? I mean, if I ask you to cut the grass, sweep the garage, it's done, period. But trust involves more than that. Yeah, it involves the capability of being kind to another person. And you are way short on that trait. Wait a minute there. Now, hold on. Now, Monk, that kind of remark is not necessary. Well, what about hers, man? Look, we want to stick to facts. Now, let's keep away from these insults. You want to know a fact? I believe you're the one behind all these burglaries that are happening in the neighborhood. Well, sure, Carl. Oh, sure. We know we can depend on you. Yeah. Hey, yeah, listen, we must have lunch sometime. Fine. <laughs> Never did a thing right in his life. Read that, uh, that last sentence back for me. Okay, let's see. And if government of the few, for the few, is what you want, a vote for Hugh Wainwright will accomplish that. Yeah, change Hugh Wainwright to my honorable opponent. Lee has a way of putting real contempt into a phrase like that. Hi, honey. Good morning. Sebastian, I need to see you in my office right away. Uh, why don't you go work on that tax issue in the next section, okay? Right. What did she say? I've got her eating out of my hand. She's going to stay with the campaign. Fantastic. Hold on, we're not in the clear yet. She's also going to pursue reconciliation with Dave. She actually came out and said that? She did. <laughs> we can't let her? We don't have much choice. Lee, if those two are so much as just seen together in public by the wrong people, Every point you gained when that engagement story broke will be lost. We're going to have to take a chance on that. In fact, I've even encouraged her to see him. Well, why don't you just get on the phone to your honorable opponent and concede right now? I had to do it. I've got to win her over completely. 
or else you'll never trust me again. And the only way I can do that is by keeping her off balance. Besides, it makes me look very sincere. It makes you look stupid. Now she has your blessing for giving you the dump. Listen, she's not going to do anything that we don't know about. Amber will see to that. And if Dave makes a move, I'll be right there with a the counter move. She's going to feel like Helen of Troy when I'm done with her. Yeah. Well, do me a favor, will you? Make all your moves in public whenever possible. With a little luck, maybe we, uh, well, maybe we can fool the press into thinking that you two are just fine. Oh, luck nothing. She's in the hands of a pro. I hate to burst your bubble, Romeo, but that just isn't going to be good enough. I won't be satisfied until Dave Phillips is completely out of the picture. Oh, well, then, uh, how about a nice, discreet little push in front of an oncoming bus? Not permanent enough. <laughs> ooh, ooh, and I thought I was mercenary. Lee, we've got to come up with something. As long as that guy's in Kate's life, your chances of getting to Washington are very, very slim. Now, that is not a fact. That is an assumption. No, it's not. It's a lie. Look, I haven't had anything to do with those burglaries, Oh, now. prove it. Why should I have to prove anything? Carla, he is innocent until proven guilty. Oh, yeah? Well, those break-ins always occur when you're out of the house. Always. So? And they also occur when you're taking one of your walks, too. And that's all I'm doing. Well, doesn't it seem awfully a suspicious coincidence? Suspicious, maybe, but that don't prove nothing. Oh, no? Well, I'm working on it. Now, wait a minute now. You have asked the question. Monk has denied it, so can we please move on to something else? Well, when did you start being so trusting? You had just as much suspicions as I did. What? Wait a minute. I did not, Carla. Now... Oh, Gene Redland, you sat right here the other night, and you said you didn't like the way he went out at, in the evening and didn't tell us. Maybe I didn't like it, but he still has a right to his privacy. So you don't believe me either, Jim? Monk, I believe you. But you're having a hard time because circumstances don't make it too easy, right? Look, your word is more important to me than circumstances, okay? Oh, does it mean that you're not interested in where he goes in the evening? Oh, come on. Now, that's not a very fair question, Carl. It is a fair question. Or is it only you who can ask fair questions? <sighs> Monk, would you please answer this question for your sake so Carla doesn't have a basis for these silly accusations, no, please? No, 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 no. You tell us because Gene's just as anxious to know, but only he won't admit it. Well, I can't. See? I'm right. Monk, that doesn't look very good. I don't care how it looks. Well, silence implies consent. Carla, would you please stop this? You know, I bet you they can catch you's ever doing this red-handed, and you still wouldn't believe me. No! Because you'd be insisting you were innocent all the way to the police station. That's it. I'm gone. Come on, Eric. Now hurry up. Come on. And be careful. Don't trip on the stairs. Hello, Mrs. Lucas. I thought you were busy out in the kitchen preparing dinner. Well, I was. Uh, uh, but it's in the oven now. Oh, I see. Uh, wh wh what's going on? Well, for someone who eavesdrops as much as you, I wouldn't even think you'd have to ask that question. Well, I... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to be rude, but I also don't mean to be made a fool of, and I've really had quite enough of that. Is your father aware that you're leaving? I am really not sure about that, as far as I know. Uh, what should I tell him? Well, tell him that I will call him later on this evening. Where are you going? Away! Now, that's really all the information you really need. Okay, now, come on, Eric, let's go. Come on. Eric, come on. I hope you're satisfied. Oh, don't go assigning all the blame to me. Oh, why not? I don't see anyone else around here shooting off their mouth quite the way you've been. No, only Mom. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on here. Now, you started this thing first. Oh, yeah, and Mr. Perfect sit here in total control, just contributing constructive comments. I did the best I could. And so did I. Wait a minute. Carla, I don't buy that one bit. Now, you know when we were having problems in our relationship, the kind of tactics you just used got us nowhere. And as if you didn't realize we were already nowhere. Hey. Where are you going? I'm going to look for Monk. Why? Maybe because after the way he's been treated, he has a right to know that someone around here cares about him, Carla. Well, maybe someone else deserves to know that, too. That might be true, but he's a kid with a past. And right now, he's probably upset enough not to care about his future. Well, it seems as if he's already given up on that. Mom, don't make me leave. There. Are you satisfied? 
This is Lucas. You are paid to clean and to cook for this family, not to interfere or to editorialize. It seems that you're no longer a part of this family. And that would make your comments totally unnecessary. Now, Eric, I know this is very difficult for you to understand, but would you please, darling, just try? Don't you love Grandpa anymore? Of course I do. But I love you also, and I have a responsibility to you that's more important. See, it's my job to see that you don't learn bad things. Is Grandpa bad? He certainly is not. No, your grandfather is a wonderful man. It's just that he's a little mixed up right now about some of the important things that children need to know. That's all. Well, one of you is, anyway. We will discuss this more in the car, Eric. Now, come on, grab your things right away. I want you to hurry and let's get up here. Let's go. Bye. Come on. Good. Come on. Let's Bye, Eric. Come on. I'll miss you.